adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Hi. And a happy Saturday, everybody. Right, Cookie? Welcome to my new idea uh, called Three Minutes With. Let me quickly explain what this is all about. This is going to be like a game show. I will talk to friends and uh, offer them four options to pick from. Such as the weirdest stuff like odd interviews, uh, Mad Lips, uh, crazy cards to discuss, um, favorite food recipes, whatever, you know, comes up. Please welcome my first guest, my dear heart friend, Amy. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> so hi, I'm gonna do <laughs> hi, Amy. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> good. Thanks for having okay. me. Though. This is going to be so much fun. I know. Um, yeah, first of all. How are you? What's what's happening? What what's the weather like? What's the latest food? What's what did what was the net last show you watched on Netflix? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just saw something good. No, nope, everything sucks. No, everything <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Been wa binge watching like SpongeBob and Adventure Time as usual. <gasps> I don't ever really get tired. Oh, oh, that's right. There's a new Adventure Time series on like HBO, so I'm excited to start it. It's already happening. I missed it when it first came out. I can't believe it. My sister just told me. So nice. about tonight. So what's our drink? Me? I'm having, have you ever had like the key lime lacroix? Excuse me, we have that in our dressing room. I know. The key lime <laughs> one is just like a green Skittle. Like Ooh. exactly, without being sweet. It's nice. Weird. Interesting. I'm just, I'm, really I'm boring. Good. I'm having decaf coffee. So boring. That's so boring. You agreed to do the funny little three minutes with. Okay. And the idea is you get options. I'm okay. going to read your four options and you're going to pick one. All right. All right. Charade band names. Okay. One out of 50 cards. Mad Lips. And favorite recipes. I like games. Let's do it. <sighs> Me too. Your final pick. Y yes. So the story about this card game is I received it for Christmas. Yes. Somebody sent it to me that somebody was Amy and I had no clue what the hell this is until I realized it's 50 questions for insane conversations. And this is the best gift I had been given <laughs> in years. It's, it's so cool. Good. Okay, so I'll give you an option of three cards. We're going to okay. play this. I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Okay. And as soon as you start answering, we have three minutes sharp to discuss. The timer will start. And after three minutes sharp, the timer would stop the conversation. Maybe we even make it to two cards. Who knows? Are there any rules to the conversation? Like, don't do swear. I... What? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one, Earth versus the moon. Number two, the rudimentary magician. Number three, the brain pill. You pick. The brain pill? Ah, I see you're intrigued. <laughs> the moon? Well, it just depends. Magician, moon, brain, pill. I'm going brain. I'm scared. Okay, now here comes a moment. First time ever on social media. Do not laugh, okay? <laughs> I'm, old and I need to, I'm old and I need glasses now to read. <laughs> okay, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, so here we go. You are offered a brain pill. If you swallow this pill, you will become 10 percentage more intelligent than you are currently right now. You will be more adept at reading comprehension, logic, and critical thinking. However, to all other people you know, and to all future people you will meet, you will seem 20% less intelligent. In other words, you will immediately become smarter, but the rest of the world will perceive you as dumber. And there's no way to ever change that. Do you take this pill? Go. I mean, I want to say yes. The rest of the world, like even like your best friend or significant other, what's mm -hmm. the point part if you can't have a smart conversation? That's a good point. But at least you would know that you would be smarter and maybe you could change the world then. Right. I don't know. I guess you know, on one hand, that's kind of how it is. Like really smart people usually get picked on usually but, aren't as cool but here's another question would you really like to be smarter than like 
so many other people. I don't know if I would like right to do that. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to have the opportunity to have more knowledge and reject it. I feel like I would still take the pill. From that moment on, everybody you know, even I and, and the whole band and everybody would go like, what happened to Amy? She seems like not as intelligent as before. And you would go like, oh, I'm so smart. But then and I like maybe like writing amazing lyrics. Oh, that's true. Might be worth it. You guys are like, wow, she seems really dumb, but she's nailing it in the writing department. <laughs> wow, that, that's <laughs> that's a good point, though, because that is your way of like creating art and showing everybody your smartness then, right? Yeah, fuck the world. I'll take the pill. <laughs> <laughs> you got a second one. The second okay. one is Earth versus Moon. I'm going to have okay. this moment again. Awkward. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a short, <laughs> short one. Really Thank you. Okay, here we go. You have won a prize. The price has two options, and you can choose either, but not both. Okay. The first option is a year in Europe with a... M That's a weird question for a touring musician, but okay, here we go. The first option is a year in Europe with a monthly payment of two grand. The second option is 10 minutes on the moon. Which option do you select? I don't want to go to the moon. I'm you like, don't? I have a recurring nightmare that I'm being launched into space and it's not <laughs> I remember that <laughs> <laughs> not the space itself as much scares me as the launch I don't know why but I'm like I I like roller coasters but I get really scared of that out of control feeling of being strapped into a seat and going really really fast either right. up or I would I love Europe I would love to come you would over. just come visit me yeah that's the big question in that question <laughs> I mean, it's interesting to see the moon, but like I think about what it would take to go to space and it just terrifies me. I don't know why it's so weird. I mean, would you go to the moon if there was not the launch and the travel and you could just like, you know, yeah. teleportation would be a thing. You could just pop up on the moon. Yeah. I would love to do that. Amy, wow. we're done. That's three minutes. Ta-da! <laughs> you have a good one, okay? Say hi okay. to the boys. Bye! <laughs>